All right, today we'll be talking about auditory deprivation and specifically referencing this Starkey article titled Auditory Deprivation, Use It or Lose It. And it reads, in a hallmark study, Silman and colleagues, 1984, experimented with amplifying only one ear in adults with bilateral sensory neural hearing impairment. The researchers did not find any significant changes to the audiometric thresholds over time. However, their results did show a significant decline in supra-threshold speech recognition performance in the unaided ears of the patients even when age and hearing threshold effects were removed. The researchers did not see the same decline in the binaurally aided patients. They concluded that there was an auditory deprivation effect and it was manifested as a decline in supra-threshold word recognition performance, not as pure, not as poor audiometric thresholds. So what does this all mean? Basically, it means that every single day when I'm testing someone's hearing, I'm checking not only what level the volume needs to be for them to be able to hear, but I'm also checking to see if we increase the volume above that level where they're hearing at all frequencies, what do they comprehend? And sometimes when I get a patient that has gone a long period of time without hearing, without getting hearing aids, it's called auditory deprivation, and then I check to see what they can comprehend and the volume is above the level at which it, they need to be able to hear, they still misunderstand the words that they hear and giving them more volume won't help. It's still difficult to understand what they're hearing. And that's because the brain changes over time when you're not supplying it with the volume to be able to hear. So when you're exposed to sound again, the brain doesn't know what the meaning is. So there's a disconnect in the brain between hearing and meaning. And so the study just basically says that if someone was fit with one hearing aid on uh, one side and no hearing aid on the other side, that the side that was fit with nothing is going to suffer an auditory deprivation that's measurable in a word recognition score. So if they have the volume, they don't understand what it means anymore. And there's different levels, so we're testing out of 100%, but someone with 60% out of 100 would understand the words about 60% of the time in an ideal circumstance with no noise and with the volume plenty loud. And so I'm seeing this daily. Patients that come to me that have waited a long time to get hearing aids, patients that got hearing aids that don't use them, patients that um, were fit with hearing aids that are not loud enough for their needs, uh, leads to auditory deprivation and oftentimes leads to a poor word understanding score. So speech understanding is diminished even when the volume is loud enough. And I see this daily uh, to different degrees, but basically it determines their success with hearing aids. So if someone has an excellent speech understanding score, I expect them to do well when we give them the volume corrected uh, cor in correcting their hearing loss with hearing aids. But if they have a 60% out of 100 score, I need to have a conversation with them about why they're still going to struggle even if we correct volume. And that's what hearing aids are doing. They're correcting the volume for you to be able to hear, um, but they're not allowing you to understand everything. They also filter out some background noise, but the problem is, is that a lot of... Um, well, everything that's going on is in the brain. And so if your brain is not processing the sound, it's almost as if you're listening to a foreign language. And so the longer you go with uh, out hearing correctly, whether it be you're not wearing a hearing aid or whether it be your hearing aids are not amplified loud enough to overcome the level at which you should hear, then you were, are suffering from auditory deprivation. And some of the side effects or the effects of auditory deprivation is a measurable word recognition score that's diminished. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please subscribe to our channel and visit our website, livebetterhearing.com.
and book an appointment to have your hearing evaluated and your ears checked out. Thank you.